Farnborough Air Show 2016 kicked off in high gear as the world of aviation gathered for the start of the biggest air show of the year. Welcome to Farnborough Air Show. Boeing making big news on many fronts, celebrating 100 years with its Centennial Pavilion, the 737 MAX on display, and a major defense announcement. It's a pleasure to see you. That announcement coming from British Prime Minister David Cameron and Boeing CEO Dennis Muhlenberg, an innovative agreement to jointly invest in, develop, and operate operate a base for nine P-8 multi-mission aircraft for the UK Royal Air Force. Also announced, Boeing will deliver 50 Apache helicopters to the British Army. Then came the rains, heavy enough to delay flying displays throughout the day. But a few days earlier, the 737 MAX flew, showcasing its fuel-saving technologies, advanced technology winglets, and Leap 1B engines. The airplane was busy on the ground as well, a must-see for visitors and the media who got a look at the Boeing sky interior and flight deck. The airplane builds on the success of the next generation 737. An improvement on an already great airplane. More MAX news as Chinese carrier Donghai Airlines announced its intent to buy 25 737 MAX 8s and 5 787-9s. And Jiamen Airlines announced a commitment for up to 30 737 MAX 200 airplanes. Boeing also secured its largest ever commercial aviation services contract with Norwegian. Boeing Centennial took center stage on the show grounds with its Centennial Experience Pavilion. Inside, a colorful and stunning showcase of the company's history and future with interactive displays. An action-packed start to the week. The coming days will feature an all-Nippon Airways 787-9 and a P-88 taking flight, and a CargoLogic Air 747-8 freighter, all continuing Boeing's big presence at the Farnborough Air Show.